in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Welcome to our service uh, for St Mary and St Ian's with in Folkestone. Uh, under the present circumstances, uh, I'm sure as you know we're uh, back online uh, with our services. It's good to welcome you wherever you are uh, and whoever you may be with uh, in these strange and difficult and challenging times. Today, of course, we're still in the Christmas season and celebrating the birth of our Lord, the incarnation of the eternal Word of God. And so we are filled with thankfulness and praise, but wonder and awe at this great event. Today, in our readings, we hear about uh, the Holy Family, and so we think too about the Holy Family of which Jesus, our Lord, became part. Uh, and as we think about the Holy Family, so we also call to mind our own families, many of whom we will not, of course, have been able to share this Christmas with. And so in this Eucharist, we remember too our own dear loved ones. But we remember also and pray for any whom we know who are really struggling in these present circumstances with, in effect, lockdown, and those who are finding this time really difficult for whatever reason. We hold them before God in this Eucharist too. And as we come together into God's holy presence, so we offer ourselves afresh in God's service as we pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Son of Righteousness has dawned with healing in his wings. So let us come to the light of Christ, confessing our sins in penitence and faith. And before we do so, we share a moment in quiet together. So let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
so the collect for today, this first Sunday of Christmas. Let us pray. Almighty God, who wonderfully created us in your own image, and yet more wonderfully restored us through your Son, Jesus Christ, grant that, as he came to share in our humanity, so we may share the life of his divinity, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My whole being shall exult in my God. For he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garland causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all nations. For Zion's sake I will not keep silent, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest until her vindication shines out like the dawn, and her salvation like a burning torch. The nations shall see your vindication, and all kings your glory. And you shall be called by a new name that the mouth of the Lord will give. You shall be a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord, and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. A reading from the letter of St Paul to the Galatians. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, in order to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as children. And because you are children, God has sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a child, and if a child, then also an heir through God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory. Alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory, glory to you, you, O Lord. Lord. When the angels had left the shepherds and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. After eight days had passed, it was time to circumcise the child. 
and he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you, O Christ. Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. What a, a great time of year this is in the church's year. Uh, this Christmas season, we continue to celebrate and give thanks to God for the nativity of our Lord. The birth of a little child in poverty so many years ago and so far away. And yet in that event, this is the incarnation of the eternal word of God. This is Emmanuel. God is with us. And what a, a great joy that brings to our hearts and minds and lives as we celebrate at this time, albeit in rather strange circumstances this year. Nevertheless, that joy which Christ brings is still in our hearts and in our minds and in our lives. Emmanuel, God is with us. That word tells us not just that God loves us, although of course God does, or that God cares for us, although of course God does. But Emmanuel, that word tells us that God is with us. God is with us. At one level, of course, the words are very familiar to us. But at another level, the words are hugely profound. And we would do well to follow the Blessed Virgin Mary's example, who, as we heard in the Gospel today, treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. Emmanuel, God is with us. God is with us in the joys and the celebrations of life. And there are, thank God, many of those as we go through life's journey. Those times where perhaps we're with family or perhaps we're with, time, with friends. Significant times of life which are filled with joy. And God is with us in those celebrations. Emmanuel, God is with us. God is with us in the times of great sadness and pain and grief. Those other occasions where we hurt deeply inside. Perhaps at those times we feel cut off from God. Perhaps we feel that God is distant, and yet the truth is, and perhaps particularly so, at those times of grief and sadness and pain, God is with us. Emmanuel. God is with us also in times of anxiety and separation times of struggle and concern. And perhaps I'm not alone in thinking how pertinent that is at this time of, well, tier four it's called now, but in effect for many people it's lockdown. And the consequence of that, and of course we recognise the reasons for it, but one of the consequences is for instance, we're not able to meet together and worship together in church. We haven't been able to meet together 
and share with our family over Christmas. But there are also perhaps those people whom we are aware of who are really struggling at this time. Those people who are struggling perhaps with financial issues or mental health issues. Those people who are becoming increasingly desperate in not being able to socialise and meet with others normally. In these times as well, God, Emmanuel, is with us. So a wonderful message at this Christmas time, reinforcing that notion, reminding us and reassuring us that God is with us in all situations, wherever we may be and whatever that situation might be. But the incarnation of our Lord is actually also about much, much more. As today's collect said, and I'm just going to remind us of a short phrase from that. No, I'm going to read uh, rather more. It starts, Almighty God, who wonderfully created us in your own image, and yet more wonderfully restored us through your Son, Jesus Christ. And what a great celebration we have in those words. But the collect goes on. I don't know whether you noticed it. The collect goes on, and it says this. Grant that, as he came to share in our humanity, so we may share the life of his divinity. So Jesus comes not just to share our life, but he comes so that we may share his life. That's a concept which is so profound, it seems to me, that it is utterly beyond our human comprehension. A concept which invites us to ponder and to reflect. And a response to which is awe and wonder and worship. We reflect on those things. I'd like to share with you a text which speaks of some of this far more eloquently than I could. And it's from a book of, of readings. Uh, it's called Advent and Christmas with Thomas Merton. And one of the passages in here is a passage uh, from the 12th century, uh, which uh, is written here. And it's from a Christmas sermon by Guerrick of Igny. I don't know whether he's a, a person who is uh, very familiar to you. But listen to his words, which Thomas Merton uh, gives us. He says this. Not only is Jesus born in Bethlehem to save us from sin. Not only do we celebrate Christmas to recall to mind the consoling fact that he is our Redeemer. Not only does he come bringing us graces and gifts. Not only is he born to give himself in some manner to us. There is much more. He is born in Bethlehem in order that he may be born in us. He gives himself to us as a child in order to share with us not only his infant smiles and caresses, but above all, his very birth and infancy. He is born son of man in order that we may be born sons and daughters of God. Our souls being Bethlehems in which he is born for us. Our souls being Bethlehems in which he is born 
for us. As once again we ponder with Our Lady the birth of our Lord and all that that means, so may Christ be born afresh at this season in our souls, at the very core of our being. Amen. So together we profess our faith in God, our Creator, Redeemer and Sustainer, as we say the words of the Creed together. We, we believe, believe in one God, God the, the Father, Father, the Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all that is, seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, Eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic Church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. So let us offer our prayers of intercession to our Heavenly Father. The response to the sentence, God has sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, crying, is Abba, Father. God has sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Abba Father. Father. Abba, Father, our world seems broken and can only be mended with your help. May your church be a beacon to those who are struggling. Help us to point the way to you. God has sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Abba, Father, we pray for strength for Archbishop Justin and Bishop Rose as they guide us. Bless Father John. Thank you for all his encouragement, inspiration and prayer. God has sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Abba Father. Father. Abba, Father, we pray for peace in our world, for negotiators working to stop wars. We pray for refugees, for those fleeing persecution, the homeless and fearful. God has sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Abba Father. Abba, Father, we pray for our Prime Minister and his advisers, the government, 
and all members of Parliament. Bless our NHS, all those seeking an end to the epidemic, and those caring for the sick and suffering. God has sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Father. Father, we pray for the homeless in Folkestone. We pray for the work of the Rainbow Centre, Winter Night Shelter and Food Stop. Help us to be compassionate and generous. We pray too for all those affected by border closures or the changes which Brexit will bring. We pray for our homes and our families. Help us to trust in you and to give all our worries to you. God has sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Abba Father. Father. Abba, Father, we pray for all who are sick and suffering, all who are lonely and frightened. We pray particularly for Irene, Alan and Andrew Birch, Jean Anderson, Anna Jar Jarrett, Sheila Blundell, Pam Hinton, Sherry, Triss and Gillian Thompson. In your mercy bring healing and wholeness. God has sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Father, Father you came to bring life for all. Hold in your love all who have died recently, especially Norman Cavell. And those whose year's mind falls this week. And our own departed loved ones. May they rest in peace and, and rise, rise in, in glory. God has sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Father. Abba, Father, we cry to you in our confusion and desperation, knowing that you will hear us. And we join our prayers with those of St Mary, St Joseph, St Ianswith, and all the saints, as we say, Merciful, Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and his name shall be called the Prince of Peace. And the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Perhaps if you're not able to share the peace directly with anybody with you, in a moment of quiet, let's share peace with all whom we love, all who, for whom we care, with our friends, with our family, and with our family in the church.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed be God, by whose grace creation is renewed, by whose love heaven is opened, by whose mercy we offer our sacrifice of praise. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. All glory and honour be yours always and everywhere. Mighty Creator, ever-living God, we give you thanks and praise for your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, who for love of our fallen race humbled himself was born of the Virgin Mary by the power of your Spirit and lived as one of us. In this mystery of the Word made flesh, you have caused his light to shine in our hearts, to give knowledge of your glory in the face of Jesus Christ. In him we see our God made visible, and so are caught up in the love of the God we cannot see. Therefore, with all the angels of heaven, we lift our voices to proclaim the glory of your name and sing our joyful hymn of praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. And so far they're calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom, all who share this one bread 
and one cup. So that we in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, St Ianswith and all the saints may praise and glorify you for ever. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. body of Christ. The blood of Christ. Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son shared at Nazareth the life of an earthly home, help your church to live as one family, united in love and obedience, and bringing us all at last to our home in heaven, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, we, we thank, thank you for feeding us, us with, with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, fill you with peace and goodwill, and make you partakers 
of the divine nature and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you, your homes and your families, all whom you love and all for whom you pray this Christmas season and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the, in the name, name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen.